There's a conversation in Jurassic Park 2 The Lost World where the character John Hammond argues with the character Ian Malcolm about how he's learned from his mistakes regarding the events of the previous film. Chichimacum retorts that now he's creating brand new problems. That pretty much sums up Jurassic World Dominion, the sixth installment of the long-running Jurassic Park franchise. It's trying to fix the mistakes the previous film, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, made, but at the same time introducing even stupider ones. The film was only written by two people, but it feels more like it was written by six. The narrative is unfocused, barely touches on the ideas of the previous installments that were actually interesting, and doesn't even bother to resolve the biggest idea of the film, how can man and dinosaur coexist? This plotline, which should be presented in a similar fashion to the Planet of the Apes prequel trilogy, is barely touched on and also never resolved. The film feels like a bunch of different ideas for the story were pitched as possible plotlines, and the studio didn't veto any of them and instead included all of them, regardless of whether it disrupted the narrative flow or even made any sense. As a result, we get an unfocused mess of a film. We have a plotline about Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's characters going on a rescue mission after their adopted daughter, as well as their pet velociraptor, are kidnapped. As a movie not connected to the Jurassic franchise, simply being a generic action movie that just happens to star Pratt and Howard, this might be fun. But as a plotline in a Jurassic Park movie, it doesn't work. We have a plotline about corporate conspiracy as one of the antagonists is a plan to bioengineer giant locusts in order to control the world's food supply. Which again, as a schlocky B-movie not connected to this franchise, perhaps a movie titled Attack of the 50-Foot Locusts, this might work. But in this film, it doesn't. In the course, we have the plotline about man and dino coexisting, which again, is barely touched on. The film is very hard to keep track of. The film is two and a half hours, and the reason for that is that it's overstuffed. However, the film does manage to get a few things right. The biggest draw of this franchise is the dino terror, and though there is very little of it, it's still presented in classic Jurassic Park fashion. Perhaps the biggest disappointment is that the main cast from the original film returns, but up until the last 30 minutes or so, it feels like they're in a completely different movie. The last 30 minutes of the film are kind of fun. Seeing Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard interact with the legacy cast really works. They get some good character moments and dialogue, but it's a slog to get to that point. Dominion is an unfocused mess of a film with too many ideas, many of which aren't resolved by the end, and though it does have the trademark dino terror, there's so little of it that it only makes this movie worth renting, and not even renting at full price. Wait a few months for it to be at discount rental price, or for it to be featured on streaming service you're already paying for anyway. I give Jurassic World Dominion a C-, a 7 out of 10, and a 3 out of 5 stars.